the temp stick. Hello everyone, welcome to Brian Unboxed. This is the temp stick, a temperature and humidity sensor with a Wi-Fi connection. It can be used to monitor many environments from vacation homes, RVs, food storage, wine cellars, cigar humidors, and many more. The company sent this out for me to review. I have the link in the description below for the product. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. And give it a thumbs up as well. So let's take a look. Inside you get a quick start guide, mounting velcro, and two AA batteries which I have installed already. The sensor can track temperatures from negative 40 to 125 degrees Fahrenheit and relative humidity of 0 to 100 percent. You can receive alerts and it has historical data logging which we'll go over shortly. This sensor can connect to your Wi-Fi network and no bridge is needed. Everything is built into the unit. You can monitor conditions remotely via the app and receive alerts via text or email. As mentioned earlier, there are many uses for monitoring many different types of environments and you can see the list here for some examples. It's powered by two AA's and can last 8 to 12 months depending on usage and no subscriptions is needed. It can be controlled via an app or the web-based login. The sensor is fairly small and is plastic all around. You can see the branding on the front. It has a status LED light and the holes for the sensors. On the back is the battery compartment which takes two AA's and are included. It comes in at less than one and a half inches wide all around and has a height of just over three and a half inches. To get started you need to download the Temp Stick app. Once downloaded, power on the sensor and go to your Wi-Fi settings. Look for the sensor setup and connect to it. Once connected, open up a browser and type in the 10 .10.1.1 address. This will connect to the temp stick. In the next prompt, select your Wi-Fi network and enter your password. It will begin to connect to your network. Once connected, you will need to create an account. Follow the prompts to establish the account. Once the account is established, you can launch the app or log in via the web. In this example, I will use the app. The main dashboard will show the values for temperature, humidity along with the data points it recorded on the chart. You can see the lows, highs, and averages along with the last check-in. If you have multiple sensors, you can access them via the drop-down box. You can also change the data range and you have a variety of choices. Clicking on the chart, it will show the various points it recorded the data. Data can be downloaded on the web as well. The Alerts tab allows you to create various alerts. Here you can see I created two for alerting me when temperature falls and when it's greater than the value specified. You can get these alerts via text or email. When creating it, you can specify the name, the conditions, alerting frequency, and message. Under the sensor options, you will find the settings for your sensor. You can rename it, modify the frequency of check-in, and calibration. Keep in mind that modifying the check-in will affect the battery life. The contacts tab allows you to create contacts for the alerts. You need to create a contact enabled to assign an alert. Here you see the fields for name, phone, email, along with the phone carrier. And finally the accounts option. You can change your info, 
email, and password in this tab, along with the sensor measurement from Fahrenheit to Celsius. And this is how the text message looks like when an alert is triggered. The temp stick. It is very easy and quick to set up. After using it for a few days, it has worked flawlessly and I have had no issues. I like the fact that it has the Wi-Fi built in and no extra devices are needed. The data collection along with the visual charting is great as well. And the alerting worked as advertised. It triggered on the values that I specified. So if you are in the market for a temperature and humidity sensor, the temp stick should be on your list. If you liked my video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button as well. Until next time, this is Brian Unbox. Take care, everyone.